Gimme Fin Nation's Antoine Perman, also known as Black Bible. It is my honor to sit here with somebody who, you know, if it wasn't for him, I would have got my interest in science. The man, the legend, Bill Nye's the science guy. I love Damn. you, man. Yes, yeah, great to see you. Oh, man. Uh, you know, like I was saying, like, I really, you know, I wasn't interested, you know, in, you know, certain things like science and stuff until you came on TV with your show. And I just, uh, you know, I just love it now. So uh, thank you. You're at Comic-Con for crying out loud. That's how much you love science. <laughs> exactly. And science fiction. Exactly. Uh, imagining a better future. Yeah. Right. That's why we're here. Yeah. Recently, I just became a Doctor Who fan. So. Oh, Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> So I wear the tie. The guy, I'm sick of him copying everything I do, you know? <laughs> so please, I see that you have a new book, Undeniable, yeah. The Evolution of, uh, wait, Evolution and the Science of Creation by Bill Nye. That's right. So evolution is how we all got here, and it's cool. It's a fascinating thing. So I really intended this to be a primer, a primer on evolution, the fundamentals of evolution, but there's a lot in there about that debate in Kentucky where the guy seems to believe that the earth is 6,000 years old, yeah. which it's not. Can't, no, it's not. But yeah, I mean, that's a, well, the one aspect I grew up off of was learning how, you know, the earth, you know, formed different layers, and that's how we can tell the age of the earth, almost that's like right. how we can tell the age of a tree. That's right, very similar. In fact, I did some sketches for the book and I thought that we, and by we I mean the, edit, the book company, what's it called, St. Martin's Press, I thought that they were going to hire, you know, real, a real, how do you say, graphic artist that could really draw real things. But here's um, the domains of life, and then, um, then back here is the amount of ultraviolet light on the earth versus the color of your skin for native peoples. So your people are much more recently from Africa than my people. But we have to have this perfect balance between ultraviolet and skin color or, or uh, your babies have bad spines. They can't make it. Really? Yeah, that's how it's... That's a, so that's why we all have different color skin. It's just like, look at these guys in Tibet. They have dark skin because they're closer to outer space. <laughs> It was really awesome as I've seen as, awesome, as far as yes. awesome, awesome is recently I've been seeing you coming out and doing a lot more uh, things, uh, public speaking. I think you even recently did a debate. That's right. A debate in Kentucky with this guy who who says he thinks the earth is 6,000 years old. He seems to believe it. It's multi-million dollar business that um, it's not clear how it's financed, but he indoctrinates young people, kids, elementary kids to believe this extraordinary worldview, that the Earth is magically very, 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 very young. The Earth is younger than the pyramids. The Earth is younger than some trees in California. How could there be 6,000 year old trees if the Earth was underwater 4,000 years ago? And so on. I know, you're absolutely right, because I can't but I mean, you know, even when we talk about, uh, I mean, see, it's always that, uh, that argument between, you know, the, the religious aspect of all knowledge versus the science. Religions, yeah. religions and that's not what we're talking about. No, I know, but you no, know, but most I mean, people base it the, off of that right. aspect, you know, why they feel earth is only that, because they look at it from that form. Um, well, they read the Bible and started adding up who was, was jumping whom for how long? What do yeah. they call that? Begetting? They're yes. begetting. Uh, and they just, well, they're going, it's only 6,000 years. Well, maybe, the, maybe that book doesn't tell the whole story. There's nothing in there about people living in China. There's nothing in there about Norwegians. There's nothing in there about South Americans, first Americans, first nations, as it's called, nothing. Yeah, you're absolutely right about so that. So one explanation is it's absolutely the word and it must be obeyed exactly. Or another explanation is they were playing the hand they were dealt. Yeah, I mean, you know, it depends on um, the cultural aspect. I mean, I see there's a lot of factors. Um, like I, I look at also science, the aspect of science that, you know, the, you know, whereas religion can be proven wrong in some cases, I've also seen science proven wrong. Well, in we some love cases. that in science. Yeah. I mean, that's the difference. Right, you religion is proven wrong. You, you hate it, but science proven wrong. You actually it love on. it. If you got something, if you prove something wrong in science, way to go. Write that paper. Get out there. Show us your new idea, your new hypothesis. Make some predictions. Have a theory that turns out to change the world. Bring it on. So, you know, 
What's up? You ever think about doing another uh, TV show again? I mean, we just seen that uh, my man is bringing Ringy Rainbow back. I mean, this possibility, you know, for another Bill Nye through That's a Kickstarter. We, we talk about this all the time. I'm hoping to do it bigger than Kickstarter. Okay, so I'm in negotiations with some <laughs> people. Got some projects. No, I really am in negotiations with a big channel, and we'll see if we can pull it off. They were, it happens all the time. They're all hot at first. Yeah. And then the lawyers show up and everybody cools off. Then it heats up again. No, we'll see. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Well, you know, stay tuned. If we need a Doctor Who America, Bill Nye's available. <laughs> but we are traveling through time right now. But, but we're only going one way. One way. <laughs> <laughs> but look, really, check out his book, Undeniable, the evolu wait, Evolution and the Science of Creation. Check it out. Bill Nas, if you didn't know him, yeah, go back. It's probably going to come on Netflix one day. It's on, it's on uh, YouTube now. It's on YouTube? Yeah. Then watch it on YouTube because this man knows his science. For real. Game of Fit Nation's Antoine Pyramid. Peace. Peace.